we've been asked about refueling stations in the UK in particular, um, and, and rumours or even reports that uh, Shell has closed some of those hydrogen filling stations. Could you tell us a bit about that and why? Yeah, sure. And, and I think, um, um, you know, we, we've always been uh, willing to, I think, lean in and, and try things out. I think it's in the DNA of Shell. And that included uh, putting hydrogen refueling sites uh, on our four courts in the UK. And, and we partnered with, uh, with ITM uh, to do that. We learned a lot. These were all, you know, small electrolyzer fed, um, you know, hydrogen sites. Uh, and we also found it really challenging to, you know, to operate them and to, to do that reliably. Um, at the same time, you know, we partnered with Toyota to bring vehicles to the market. But the uptake of those vehicles, the first generation Mirai, uh, and I, I happen to own one of them, um, you know, was, was actually very limited. Um, second generation Mirai is a beautiful car. It's a, it's, it's, it's a real step up. Uh, but, you know, very few vehicles came came to that market. So we had to take a tough call. We had to make a decision to, uh, um, you know, to close those sites. It was an old technology. They they were not really living up to the customer offer that we would like to uh, to see in the market. Um, yet we learned a lot uh, from from doing that. Um, and I think to point uh, to point at those kind of examples where we uh, we we leaned in, we we built new assets, uh, we learned from them. It wasn't the right solution. Um, you also need to be be willing to then take a step back and um, um, and see what uh, what happens next. Uh, I think in the UK there is now with the Department for Transport a lot more enthusiasm and momentum around zero emission mobility for heavy goods vehicles, um, and that that will be a combination of battery electric vehicles as well as uh, as well as hydrogen trucks. And I think that's where we see a big role. For, for Shell to play in enabling that zero emission for you know what is actually uh, in some ways a much more difficult sector to to decarbonize than it is for for light uh, light duty passenger cars.